Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique, and I've got a little bit of something different for you today. This video doesn't have a focus on any particular plugin, but instead Ableton Live. Ableton Live 10.1 just came out and there's a new feature in here that has made external side chaining incredibly easy. So what I wanna do in this video is show you how it's done with a couple of plugins and then demonstrate in the later part of the video why this update is just so awesome. So I've got this kick in this base right here. So obviously the kick and the bass line are conflicting a lot. So what I would usually use is sidechain compression to get this done. So what I'm gonna do is actually come in here and throw on Pro Q3. I'm gonna put it on the bass line. I'm gonna activate a filter node. And inside of the device window down here, or the device container, it now has a sidechain input. And any third-party plugin you pull into Ableton Live will have this capability. So it's only gonna work if the device itself can take sidechain, which Pro-Q3 can. But from here, it's incredibly simple. So I wanna sidechain from the kick. So if I pull down the dropdown and sidechain to the kick and open up Pro-Q3, you can see that we have both signals coming in. The steady purple one here is the bass and this pink one or red one is the kick. And it's effectively side-chained. However, if I want this node obviously to be a dynamic EQ being triggered by that kick, uh, what I would need to do is come down here, pull it down. And you'll notice that it's not working right now. I am seeing both spectrums, but it's not being triggered. This EQ node is not being triggered by that kick. So I still need to activate the external sidechain trigger. And now it's working. So you still need to get in and activate anything that needs to be activated. And I'm gonna show you the same thing with Neutron. So here I have Neutron 2's compressor, and this works the same way. It's got external sidechain capability. So again, I wanna jump into the sidechain here, put it on the kick, and again, nothing's happening because I need to take the threshold and then turn on sidechain to external, and we're getting that pumping happening. I could do the same thing with this other one, reduce the attack time, again, turn it on, again, external full. and I can take it from there. So that's how easy it is now. And you might be saying, well, how is that easier than before, even though it's quite simply just clicking and receiving the audio from a different channel? So there are other ways you could do this. And one way, if I just turn this off, if I duplicate the kick, is make this a ghost sidechain. So instead of going to the master, I would go to the bass, and then it'd get pumped right into Neutron 2. So that's pretty simple, but what if you have, you know, multiple breaks or if you have a different pattern for, you know, throughout your song, four to the floor is absolutely easy to do, but if you have anything more intricate than that, it becomes tedious. You have to copy every pattern where your kick is, you have to copy it into the ghost channel. So a way we used to get around that was going into a return track. So if I come in here and in insert a return track, and then what I would do is take the kick and send it to the return track 100%. And then from the return track, instead of the master, I'd go into that bass again, and you see it pumped into Neutron. And you can already hear that the pumping is happening. So this actually gets around if I've changed up my pattern here with my kick drum. You can see that it's still recognizing that any change I make in my kick pattern will be reflected in that sidechain signal. But watch what happens if I try to solo my kick now. I'm still hearing my bass, and that has to do with the routing that we have here. So this is actually not the best method either. So the fact that I now have the ability just to take that signal right inside of the device, and I don't need to worry about return tracks, and I don't need to worry about ghost track sidechaining, uh, is just an absolute workflow improvement that you need to be using. So this is gonna be the same for any plugin we sell in the Plugin Boutique that can accept and use an external sidechain source. Inside of Ableton Live 10.1 and above, you can now do it using the sidechain panel inside of the device container inside of the channel strip. So absolutely phenomenal. 
I'm so pumped it's there and I'm happy to share it with you. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, <laughs>